Alright guys, so I guess I'm going to start vlogging using this flip camera, which, is, makes, <laughs> which makes everything so much more exciting because I love using this camera because I used to use it all the time, but I was never an actual vlogger because I just forgot to use it the entire time. But now I'm a real vlogger and I'm going to be vlogging my days using this camera because it's 60 minutes, so it doesn't give me the freedom to just do whatever I want. It's more marginalized. So I'm working on some design work. Here are my swatches right here. I don't know if you can see me or not because this thing, I can't really tell. But yeah, just picking out some swatches for the new collection for next year, next season. And yeah, I think Jordan's going to come over as well. And this weekend we have a trip to Palm Springs. As you guys can see, my beautiful puppies, like always. And I'm stoked for this, guys. I hope you guys are too. Let's see what happens. Here's the thing, guys. Sometimes you just have no idea what you're doing. And sometimes... I want to see things through and I don't necessarily know everything about things. So you have to really be comfortable knowing that you're going to execute and also do what it takes to feel like you're doing the job well done. So I'm designing a shoe and I don't know how to use, I just don't know how to use Illustrator that well, but I'm doing what I can. So I'm trying to fill in the colors like this with this black ink because it has to be black and I'm just doing it manually I don't know how it's going to come out but I'm not going to look at it until I finish so then I kind of realize how I did before I judge myself if I look at it now then I might just be like I did a horrible job this sucks and then I'm just going to get over it which is bad so I'd rather execute it and then see how I can improve just a life tip <laughs> And it was a success. I did it. It looks so sick. Um, I honestly, guys, I swear to God, I'm not efficient in any of the Adobe suites, unless the editing one. But like, like Illustrator is really hard for me. But I did it, and uh, just do it, guys. That's it. That's all you have to do is just try to do it, and don't go hard on yourself. Because if you don't know how to do it, then you shouldn't be having any expectations, regardless. So think about. Think so if you guys can't tell already, my house is my office. Having a little salad. Look at these little, look at these guys, just watch me work. So this is basically what my day consists of and when I am not out shooting or doing something for YouTube, I'm usually just here working and um, I get a little bit of cabin fever. So I'm gonna go to the gym afterwards and Jordan is supposed to be on his way now and I wanna go get a haircut. I'm kind of daring and tempting to go to a guy that I've never been to but I kinda just need a classic trim. And I think it's kind of hard to mess up a trim, which it's happened before, but I have to take my chances. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's lunchtime, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. Yes. Caesar salad for the gates. Let's do it. It's just, it's, well, I mean, it's just fucking, I mean, it's just a shit. I'm so boring. <laughs> um, don't turn the music on, son, and fucking start singing. I can't copyright. Um, going through the hype beast watch that I just saw some shoes that I wanted so bad that David Beckham was wearing uh, back in the day and I was able to buy them oh, remember those those are so sick and I think they have a new interpretations of them uh, in a fly knit well just a different shape um, damn what's up dude Wait, hold on, let me get that. damn <laughs> Look at that, look at this, look at this versus this camera versus that camera. Hey, so we got old school versus, well, you can't see the camera. You can see it, we got my channel, baby! <laughs> Bring it back to flip cam, guys. Look at this thing. Flip cam versus this cam. And it's cracked, too. I just noticed that you can see the glare, but that's fine, guys. This is just how it's going to be real. for now. It's going to be real. This isn't, this isn't posh. We're about to go get a haircut from an old guy named Dimitri. So I'm outside this barbershop, this old school barbershop. Dimitri's. <laughs> yeah. And the fate of my hair relies on this guy to see how good he is. I'm not going to get anything too crazy. I just want a nice trim. A very low, very little trim. So we'll see how it happens. I'm scared. So, the thing about the barbershops is that you can't show them. 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's cash only, so you can't fuck around or checks. But it seems like it, dude. It seems like it doesn't need So, I just got my hair cut. I don't know what it looks like yet because it's wet. The guy used a lot of water. And uh, I was scared to move. I was intimidated because I said, Are you going to put a guard on that? Because he did it with comb over, comb over clippers and he said, Don't worry. And I was like, Russian dude, he was in a bag of these. You know those, you know those videos of like the Indians who like slap their heads like, wow, those pow pow, or like your neck. <laughs> That's what I thought, and I was scared to move. I was like, yeah, I would do it. I was so Mando, scared. watch out. Yeah, I know. Here you go. Look, I wanted to get a haircut. Dimitri killed it, son. This is an old school, old man barber shop, and um, I was a little skeptical. I was a little afraid, a little intimidated, but. I'm actually really surprised that my hair turned out this good. I was a little bit scared. Not scared necessarily, but I just didn't know if it was going to come out good. But Dimitri killed it. Like, I think it looks good. This is a, a, I guess I just needed to find someone who could, like, cut my hair in between haircuts. And also someone that doesn't live an hour away. And Nando kills it all the time. But I think sometimes you need, like, a little trim. Not necessarily, like, a bang, a bang trim. So it's good to have someone cool that you're like, all right, he could do this every so often. If you could do it this easy, then cool. So yeah, guys. Next stop, the gym. Rage D. Yup. Bye, Jordan. Bye. Soby kick, baby. I usually do these bands right here. Resistant bands to do some workouts. And I do a little bit of the pull-up sometimes. Also, the 10 pounds to do some ab workouts. This is 10 pounds right here. And that's me. So I'm just gonna do a quick workout, a warm up before the actual class. And the class I'm doing strictly boxing. Also, if the quality isn't that great here is because I'm not using a crazy DSLR camera. I'm using this flippy cam, if you guys haven't noticed yet. So the quality is going to remain the same because I like using this. I don't want to walk around with DSLR and the flip cam. It's a beautiful thing. Workout. So we kick. This guy right here was tackling the shit out of me. <laughs> That's Coach Mick over there. That was tough. That dude was literally. He was going ham on that bag. It was like football. I, don't know, I didn't play football. I wasn't strong yet. I'm not that strong. He was. Jordan, where you at? Hey, look who's back. What are you doing? Exporting a video. Stop by his channel. Should be up by now. Oh, yeah. By the time you post that. Yeah. What's up, cutie? Uh, let's go home. See you guys there. <laughs>